what is quality exactly about? When we say in the quality in the pharmaceutical system, because now we are uh, working in the pharmaceutical industries. When we are working in the pharmaceutical industries, human health, we are working on the human health medicines. So that is life saving medicine. Here the quality is very important. So how to be uh, defined if you see in the any industry, like it not only the pharmaceutical industry, if you see in driving the car, if your car is not as per quality, like that because the people are daily using the car, that's why I'm giving the example. If anything is missing in the car also, you can see how a incident can be happen. Like in the pharmaceutical industries, if we are supplying to the medicines to the market, if it's not up to the mark of the quality, then there will be chances of the very health, uh, uh, there will be problem with the health and loss of the health also. So the quality in the pharmaceutical industry is very important and it has to be taken from incoming material to release of the material. Each and every stage we have to be check the quality of the product. So how does it go about? So if you are thinking go about like, uh, so uh, when we are receiving the raw materials, so that quality check is there. Then we are uh, making the product, there will be in process check is there. Then we are, uh, uh, after the process check, when final product is come, again quality check is there. So if you see in the quality, uh, in the pharmaceutical industry, we have divided in the two parts. One if you see in the quality control and quality assurance. When you see the quality assurance, quality assurance is involved from the incoming material to dispatch. However, the quality control, we are taking care of uh, only when the sample will come in the lab, we have to analyze as per the predefined specification as STP and that has to be released to the market. So this is the difference in the quality control and quality. But yeah, definitely quality is very important for the, any industries. And even the, in the pharmaceutical industry is more important because it is related to the health of the human being. So MDA is very strict about them when they follow certain rules and regulations. So how do you keep up with that, those rules and regulations? Uh, Nowadays, if you see the FDA uh, in uh, our pharma industry, data integrity is uh, because of so many industries having the warning letters and so many uh, industries having the OIs. The reason is uh, the, what is the lookup of the uh, FDA? The, our system in the such a way there will be no non compliance. So, nowadays, what people are doing, automation is very important nowadays. Then, training is very important. Your quality culture is very important. So, in the organization, culture is like that. Everybody should understand that we are doing for the making the medicine for the shape of the human being. So, the culture is like that. There will be no any uh, shortcut. There will be uh, all the automation has to be done like that. The human involvement is very less. So, this all the things are taking care of the FDA. And nowadays, it's not FDA as an auditor. They are as a inspector. They are inspecting the site as an investigator. They are investing in everything. So now it's a difficult to be pharma industry, but this is the time we have to be improved. And now since last 2012-13, the pharma industry is improving in a such a way. They are doing the automation. They are improving the quality cultures. So we can say we are going the right track. Okay. So uh, I would like to know. What exactly, like what kind of training do you all do? Yeah, if you see the training, so training, we can say effective training. Okay. If you say effective training, what is the mean of effective training? Like if you uh, see the Three Idiot movie, what uh, um, uh, this Amir Khan says, you have to be, go in the excellence. When you excellence ke behind excellence, success jo hai, wo chak mar kar aapke piche aane wali. Like that in the training, what happened the currently, the training people are doing for the compliance. Because like if you want to be effective with our SOP, you have to complete the training. If any incident is happened, you have to complete the training. So the training is not as effective training. If we have do the training for the sake of the training only, compliance automatically will happen. Yeah. But what happened? If you see everybody having the 100% marks in the SOP's training, everybody having the 100% of marks in the any SOP, still if they understand each and every document, how the division is coming. Because it means something is wrong in the training. Otherwise, if we are training the people such a way and if in, during the evolution, they are getting the 100% marks. After the 100% marks, if they are getting, still there is a deviation to the procedure. Something went wrong. That's why the training is the effective training has to be there. Training should not be for the compliance. Yeah, compliance is important. But if you do the training for the training only, compliance will automatically happen.
so that is the important of the effective training like you have told that if there are failures during the training so yeah. any such incident happen when in the organization it's it's, it's a common there is because uh, where the human being is involved chances of mistake is very high so we have to be how to be remove the human being involvement then we have to do more automation but now if you see in the different area definitely you require man force also to run the machine man force to run the software man force to prepare the solutions so always be there if the man force is involved everywhere then how to be uh, we have to be say that there will be no uh, mistake it it will be happen but when the mistake will be happen the mistake should not be like we should not hide the mistake if we didn't want to hide the mistake because in the pharmaceutical industry there is a deviation procedure is there you can put the documentation you can do the corrective and preventive action you can improve your system so such mistake cannot be happen again so there are lot of procedure is there but what happens when people are starting the hiding the mistake then it will be difficult so how to be gay that the people should not hide the mistake it is only when our quality culture has to be improved so now robotics are coming in trend like uh, now organizations are going for robotics so do you all have any plan to... robotic training still i didn't uh, find in the pharmaceutical industries okay. and uh, like uh, robotic involved uh, instead of uh, human being no i i don't find till time in the okay, so indian pharma company may it may be future yeah so that all uh, even the behavior training also is very important because when we say in the technical uh, training at yeah, technical training is there until unless the person they are involved in the day to day activity in the pharmaceutical industries they should understand their job their job because they are making the they are manufacturing the medicine so this medicine is always for life saving drug so they can understand their responsibility they can understand they are preparing the medicine that can be saved until unless this confidence this uh, quality has to be not come each and every person that are working in the pharmaceutical industry i think that integrity can be not avoided so for that we have to be start the behavior training we have to be understand like then people are coming from the college when they join in the industry they come from the college they didn't understand what is the criticality of the this work which they are doing so from initial onward we have to train them like that they can understand what is the exactly requirement of the pharmaceutical industries where uh, they have to be avoid the mistakes so this all the requirement nowadays is very important anything which i missed out if you can speak about it. regarding like uh, training so only what i i i want to be say ki please do not do the training for the compliance only please do the effective training and your tni like when the person is joined there will be training need identification the tni has to be not common tni for the freshers if the people having the fresher their t- training need identification will be same like uh, the person having the 5 years of experience so what happen in the pharma industry like there was a different section in the different areas like raw material section in the lab packing material section finished product if you go in the manufacturing there are the different uh, machine is there like where uh, some coating area is there so the specific people are working over there so we have DN- tni is different but what happened like in the raw material if that we have given the tni for the 100 sops at the one person has just newly joined what he understand in the 100 sops what is really is required so what is the requirement but first we have to be understand what is the exactly requirement for the training for the individuals not for the whole soul of the group so based on that we have to plan the training so for the if the newcomers is coming only you can complete 10 to 20 sops then if they are okay with that in a day you are the people are doing 12 sops in a day how they learn the 12 sop in a day and they can understand everything so we, when they join their boss is saying you have to be complete your training within 15 days in the 15 days 100 sops how the people can learn the 100 sop in the 15 days really this is the correct way to handle no i don't think this is the correct way to handle the training program the training program has to be built in such a way if the people are coming from the college there will be different training program they have to with some minimum sops if the people having the experience already they have exposure for the previous organization 5 to 6 year yeah you should have different training program if the uh, they are coming with a good organization because in india if you see there was a 
some multinational organization working like uh, if you say lupin arvind the very great organization is there some small organization is there uh, people are coming from the small organization it should be have different training program because they can understand what is the requirement exactly from the pharmaceutical industries so we have to be define the training need identification in such a way the training has to be very effectively has to be taken all the best neo science hub so this will be a great start for the graduates or any new people that want to explore various fields of science all the best to neo science hub